Okay then guys, in this video we're going to be talking about facial changes, some people call it looks maxing and stuff like that, um, but all in all it's just, guess, just making yourself a better looking man, right? And um, in the course that I'm doing, because there's certain things I want to talk about off channel, uh, one of them is, oh look how good I look. Like, I don't want to be doing that, do you know what I mean? But it is something that helps men. Like, th this is so important. It's just really hard to do on a YouTube channel and just sit there and be like, oh, look at my... Uh, do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so when I got it in the course behind the scenes, it's like, okay, anybody who actually wants to see that stuff can, but I just, it's just hard, do you know what I mean? You don't want to sit there just talking about you, basically, or, like, how good you look and stuff like that, which isn't the point, but that's how people see it, and it's just annoying, because it's like, people don't understand in this industry, we're just trying to help men, and it's just, it is frustrating. Uh, but I'm adding all the better looking man stuff to the course over the next couple of days. I've got three other videos off the back of this that I've made. Uh, and probably another two that I'll record tomorrow where I've given, and one already on there actually, where I've given specifics about how I've made kind of that final leap to bring all the changes out. So I've been, a lot of you know, I've been doing like orthotropics for years and all these different things. But something within this last six months to a year... There's been two or three little things that have made all the difference, okay? Uh, and if you look at the links below, that's where you can find the course. The Men's Lifestyle Supplement, which is now free shipping worldwide. And we've got... And let, let me know if that works, by the way, guys. I've upped the price for certain regions, but free shipping worldwide, I think, is cheaper for everybody. So, fingers crossed. Let me know. Um, I've done my best. And also the streaming platform. The Bare Knuckle one's now live. We've got five shows. You want to watch Rob's interview, it's free. So you can check that out, guys. We're just stream platform, subscribe, watch your shows, unsubscribe. I don't care. It's like, that's fantastic. If people do that, that's great. It's just, it's a five-year thing that we're working on. Ten-year thing, 20-year thing. Like, we're going to be chipping away at that forever. That's why the lifetime membership is was so useful. Uh, but in this video, I'm going to be showing you, like, yeah, you've seen over the years that I've changed. People have seen that. People have followed the content for a long time. But there's two or three things in this video that have happened over the last year that stood out to me. And then when I realized what they were and I honed in on them, I got the best changes of my life. Okay, some of you have probably noticed in more recent videos that my face is way leaner. I'm going to show you what I've done. Okay, so I'm going to start here. And that's pretty much the overall change that we're talking about. That was when I lived in London. You could see by the background. You could watch the old videos. Um, before skincare routine, you could see that the forehead wrinkles were different. It's just a, it's a different guy completely. Right? It's a round face. Beard or not, it's just a round face. Here it's just angular. Do you know what I mean? There's like, look, there's a groove there, whatnot. It's why I've been shaving my beard down there to make this part of the course and whatever. But it's, it's completely different, right? People, like, some people say light and all that stuff. I just find that hilarious. Uh, this is, you've seen this picture before, guys. Like a big, round, blubbery puffer face with no chin, no jaw. Oh, getting better. No regressed when I got a 9-to-5 job. Went through a ton of stress. That's awful, isn't it? That's just, a lot of that was water. A lot of that would fade, but that is really bad. It's like, you see under my eyes. Oh, that's terrible. Um, when you look back, you just... How did I not see that in the mirror at the time? It started to get better, started to take good care of myself. Uh, but you can see, like, looking really old with the wrinkles and whatever. Uh, got, this was the first time I actually thought, wow. And by the way, if you'd like, oh, this guy takes a lot of pictures of himself. It's, it's quite literally my job to do this sort of stuff. So along along the way, I grab these pictures. When I see a change, I grab a picture, I put it in a file. It's literally called Body Transformations. It comes in handy for videos. Uh, this was really good. This was the first time I thought, oh god, that's actually a lean face. This was after a football match. You guys might remember I did that speech. That's what this is from. And that this the football match, the cardio sort of thing that will come in. You you guys like this is a big part of this video, okay? Uh, me and Jack, we actually were up on a rooftop balcony and we trained that day and we did some serious cardio and my face was really lean again. Uh, and this was just you know. I think the best growth I've had in jawline, all that stuff, whatever. So you can see the progression from there down to like here, here or there. Like it's a completely different man, right? So is this just me or 
is it something that men kind of go through as they go later on in life? And this is more the point of the video, but it's just easier to use myself as, you know, as the as the guy to analyze because I know my own face and I have more pictures of myself than anyone else. Uh, well, this is Jeremy Meeks, who went viral for his... Let's actually get that up. That makes way more sense than... Here we go. So this is Jeremy, went viral for his mugshot on the right here obviously like high cheekbones hollow cheeks here doesn't actually have a great jaw which is what people f people forget people always think oh it's great jawline whatever his development here is not that great he's just really hollow here and it's just given him an unbelievable cheekbone line and this like angular face look here now has he always had it well yeah he's always had high cheekbones like here his cheekbones are really high not here here he just looks like a normal guy but here you could see this is the closest thing to this. So how does he end up like that? That's crazy, right? How a guy goes from that to that. Well, in my opinion, there's certain factors. And we could do a whole video on Jeremy, to be honest. I might do one for the course of like how I think his has specifically happened, going into detail. But I think historically, from what I've seen, high testosterone guys, aggressive guys, exhibit A, goes to prison. They don't talk a lot. They're quite silent types. Um, and also, when you're in prison, so for example, if you're not talking a lot and you're in prison, you're on a specific diet and they do put you, if you're training, you're going to be in a deficit. You you just, you you have to be in a deficit. Um, so chances are, and he was probably drinking just water. Do you know what I mean? He's not having the extra stuff. He's not having the sugars and whatnot. And this is one thing I found, and I'll get to this later. So he's not having the sugary drinks, he's not having the snacks, he's not having the occasional cheat meal. I imagine here, you know, you're committing crimes, you're doing some stuff, probably going to grab a pizza, probably going to grab some wings, probably going to have a soda, whatnot. Oh, I just got to eat something quick, I've got to get back. Do you know what I mean? I've got to get back out on the streets and do some damage. Like, you're not too worried about, oh, hang on a minute, guys. Let me just go and cook a nice steak and drink some water. I can't touch it. Like, you're a criminal. You're not worried about that. You're worried about how to get your money. So one thing that happens to men as they get older, especially as they get older, which is why you see men get better with age a lot of time. And you see, I've seen things online before, which is, does men's skin get thinner with age? And do men's faces get leaner with age? People have been trying to figure it out. There's different theories, there's different contributors. I personally think you just stop certain habits. Okay? And the average gym member apparently in the UK is in his 40s for a man is in his 40s the average gym member it depends where you are if you're in London it might be different well actually it might not but you know it just it just depends it, it is about 40 according to the data now that's a conscious decision do you know what I mean I think maturity I was going to make a separate video on this but I might include it here or just vaguely go over it I was gonna I was gonna make a video on how your face reflects your lifestyle and your maturity. Lifestyle is obvious, but I think your maturity. So if you've got poor skin and a puffy face, that says to me you're a bit of a child. You know, you're up all night playing video games. You're eating pizzas, sodas, stuff like that. You, you know, you're putting like ketchup on all your food because it's full of sugar and you need the buzz. You've got no control, no discipline. You're not going to bed early and stuff, which is contributing to a certain facial appearance. I think as guys get to, and this is why this video is all about, you know, do men get kind of leaner faces in their 30s or why, like, I don't know what I'm going to title it, maybe like, why am I getting angular in my 30s, why that doesn't make sense, because uh, everyone says it should be in your youth. Um, well, I think you make better decisions. Like when I was young, I was playing football a lot, I was doing a lot of cardio, I was running around, but I was drinking alcohol a lot. I was putting salt on everything. I was I was I was going to the gym and I was just lifting heavy. I wasn't worried about okay, we need to do a specific routine. It wasn't like an intensity of we're going to work the muscle, we're going to pump blood into the muscle. It was more just who can lift the heaviest. You know, there's no structure to what you do. Uh and diet is the big one. Because I would wake up on a Sunday after 15 pints, so beers and a kebab and I would just simply just eat shit all day because I'd feel bad and I'd be like, oh, I'll just eat and drink whatever I want. Right. And you're getting away with it because you're youthful and you've got a full head of hair and all that stuff. But it's like you're not taking care of your body the way you should. Do you know what I mean? You're not worried about those things. As you get older, you go, 
I should probably drink four liters of water a day. I'm noticing signs of aging. I should probably do a skincare routine, stuff like that. So that's why I think as you get older, you do take care of yourself better. It's lifestyle mainly, you know, when, when I was, when I was 18, I was going to bed at three, four in the morning. I was playing on my Xbox three, four in the morning. I didn't care. Now it's very rare if I'm not in bed before 12. Very, very rare. You can actually see, I think from the screenshot here, that was at midnight. That's because I'm in bed and I was still researching. I was just like, oh, I'll screenshot that for tomorrow, close the phone down, go to sleep. Like I'm ready to work on that tomorrow. Like that's the whole idea of what, you know, that's what that is. Um, and it's very rare that I go to, that I don't now. I try and get like eight hours of sleep. So your lifestyle is reflecting on your face. Do you see what I mean? And I think once you're in prison, you're kind of forced to do that. And I think Jeremy was forced to like stop eating the crap. I think he was forced to get like, it's like lights out at a certain time. You have to sleep at a certain time. You're going to get, your routine is fantastic in prison. Do you know what I mean? As, as bad as it is, your routine is fantastic in prison. You're eating the correct foods. You're not having the sugars and the salts and whatnot. Um, they, they try and hit your macros. You got nothing to do but work out. You're not really talking a lot right? You're not, you're not talking like you would in a day job or normal life or whatnot. You're not, you've not got the same habits. You are just sat around a lot, just thinking and whatnot, working out, doing some press ups and whatever. You can't just be like, do you fancy a beer? You know, they're not going to do that. Do you fancy a sugary soda? Do you, do you, like, it's pretty much just water the whole, the whole time that you're in there. So, you know, and I assume people are like chewing gum and stuff like that as well when they're in there for boredom purposes. Like, it's gonna change your face. It's almost like the perfect lifestyle to do so. Uh, Brad Pitt, I think he's made he made major changes. This is at like 30, 31. This is like 40. So you can you can see like, yeah, it was still good there, but drastically more blocky as he got older. You know, and I think that is a that's more of a lifestyle choice. Uh, this is an old picture of me. This is the first time, this is after boxing, we'll get to this in a minute, but you can see it's just more of a masculine head, like even my nose looks bigger, it's just more of a, ma like that's quite feminine, that's very masculine, like everything just seems a bit more blocky, so to speak, <laughs> why did I keep that, look at that, look at that hair, that's awful, um, you know, could it do with beard hair, stuff like that, but you can see there, look, the jawline, it's, there's clear growth, okay, this is clearly shot out, um, you know, that, it's just, I'm, I'm making the best of that with that beards, but that is, that's why I shaved all this off as well, because people are like, oh, your jawline is just beards, and then when you shave it off, you can see it. Uh, and this is something, I'm not, but by the way, everything you see is from a video. I don't, I don't really post for pictures. These are both videos. That's why I look weird there, because I'm staring at a camera. I'm just trying to show you the difference in facial growth here, like the jawline, the hollow cheeks, the high, it's hard to talk about yourself, isn't it? But like, here I'm just puffy as hell. Like, you see the puff there? Like, there is flat. It's just puff. I told you guys before, what you don't want in a male face, you can get away with it in a female face. You see this a lot. But in a male face, what you don't want is stuff molding into other stuff. You want nose, cheekbone. You want separation. You want hollow cheeks, cheek, cheekbone line, jaw line, jaws going out. That face on the left is just one circular puff. Like everything is just mushed in together. That's that's all it is. And then so then people will say, okay, so is it just low body fat? No, which we'll get to in a minute. But it's a it's a culmination of things. Jeff Logan used to talk about this, and I've done this in videos before. It's like he used like a five finger approach where you do five different things, it creates a fist, it has a bigger impact. I think there's like fifty different things that you can do. Okay, but if you're going to the gym, drinking four liters of water per day, sleeping well, diet's on point you're doing cardio, then you're doing orthotropics, facial exercises, you know, you've got good facial habits, good oral posture, like, it's, it's going to blend together, do you know what I mean, you're staying away from the garbage foods, no alcohol, like, that's like a two-handed approach, you're going to get seriously quick results, um, and just to clarify, I'll go through this, and then I'll get to the actual point of the video, like, the Jeremy Meek stuff was pretty good, but I actually get to down here what I think, we, we have to go through this to see it, actually, so, um, I'll show you. So there's me a few years ago. It's just a ball of puff. Everything's mushed into each other. And I wasn't in terrible shape either. But everything's just kind of mushed in. It's it's not a good look. 
And it, even back then, I was talking to you guys about hollow cheeks, and people used to be like, how can this guy talk about hollow cheeks? He doesn't have them. But that's the whole aim of the game, is that you're working towards them. It's getting better there, you know? But and pe people always say I'm pouting. I've got big lips. I never understood that. I don't know if you can tell. Like, every single picture, what am I, I pouting on every single picture? Every single video? Um, but yeah, I took this because I thought my skin looked good and I was going to do a skin change video. This was the first time I started doing skincare and stuff. But you can see it's kind of, it's just still flat. It's leaner, it's less rands, but it's still a flat face. Oh, and that was SMP. That's why I took that, actually. Um, here I was as lean as I will ever be. I was, I was so low body fat, it was ridiculous. Some of you might remember. But my face isn't that lean. It's still rand, which is a really good point, okay? So is it like, oh, I just lose body fat and I look, it's not... There's so many more factors to this, and we'll get to them in a second. Uh, that guy actually backs it up. I'll show you that in a second. Just remember that point. So this isn't that long ago, and you can see that it's starting to show some signs, but it's still quite a round, bulbous face. Now, you could say it's the beards, but I couldn't really see the changes. This is getting better. It's getting a little bit leaner. This is when I first moved into this property, actually. Uh, here I was massive and stocky and whatnot, and you can see the face is getting a little bit squarer, but it's still full of water, still a little bit puffy. It's not quite where it is now. Same there, like you, it, it was fluctuating. It was going between. This is a call that I had with Jack, and I remember taking this because I was like, "Oh, I actually look pretty good," and I wanted to use it as like a progress thing. But you can see it's still like a a puff round face. Like, I think I look good though. I'm happy with the way I look, but I think it was still puffy. And to get that, like, angularity is tough. Now, this is important. This is really important, actually. So I'm going to save that. But this is where we get to the actual crux of the video. But I just wanted to show you guys. So this is me with L. Uh, let's just get away from L. I don't want you guys thinking I'm zooming in on her boobs or something. There we go. So this is kind of like the first sign where it's like, okay, something's appearing here. And this was back in April. Something's happening, but it's still like a, it's still, honestly, it's a meathead. That's what it is. It was just, it was always just like a fat head. It's just like, it's kind of watery. Do you know what I mean? And I knew I was lean. I knew my face. I knew, here's the thing. I knew I'd done orthotropics and I'd push my cheekbones up and I'd change my face. I knew it was there. It's just sometimes it was revealed, sometimes it wasn't, which we'll get to in a minute. Uh, and this is why I wanted to get this picture, because I'm going to put that actually down here. It's going to make sense in a minute, guys. So is it just the fact that you're leaner? Well, this guy's as lean as they come and his face is still puffy. Doesn't have hollow cheeks. Do you know what I mean? This guy, I've never been this lean, but this guy's face is still pretty normal. Like, if you put, just put your hand, just do what I'm doing, just put your hand over his body and look at his face. You'd think that was a normal guy, and then cover his face and look at his body. You would assume that guy's got a shredded face. Like, the face does not match the body when you go between the two. It's probably looking really weird, but do it yourself. It's just like, okay, so low body fat doesn't result in... It makes your face look better, but it doesn't result in a certain facial shape. And this is different shapes that I've been in. So there's no way my face looks as lean there as it does now, but... I was probably as jacked as I could be there. I've had different moments where, like, that's pretty lean. Face looks pretty lean. Um, but I would say that the face is maybe leaner here. Or, like, facial growth looks better here. But I'm probably leaner there. You can actually see the cheekbone if I zoomed in. Let's see if I can do this, actually. Will it let me move around? And that is the question. This is going to be tough. So, look, you can see a cheekbone line there, and you can see, like, a rounded cheekbone there. They're higher. They're just genuinely higher. Whereas here, that's a little bit lower. You can see there's a gap between, and you can't really see a cheekbone there. However, I would say I'm leaner on the left than I am on the right, and I, I, I'm I, pretty sure I was at the time as well. So, I don't think... I think body fat has an effect. It, like, brings it down and reveals it, which, you, which is what I used to tell you guys, which is why I want to do this whole course again, the Better Looking Man course. Because I found some new information and I've had better results. So I'm like, I want to make this again. But I think that's the first time you guys can actually see my scar, actually. Let's zoom in. I don't think I've ever showed you guys before. There. Chest operation. Weird, right? That was painful. Um, 
but yeah, I don't think I don't think just body fat alone is the answer. Because like I said, that guy before here, it just doesn't make sense. Like his face is really puffy, probably because he's on gear. I'm just you know I'm just stating the facts. If he's not, I apologize. Uh, this kind of be the same. That looks pretty lean. But the point I'm making here is this is by far the leanest I've ever been. By far. And yet I would see, I'd say that face looks pretty normal. Like I'm not really seeing anything there. It's just kind of like a little boy, just kind of like a semi lean face. And I've got the veins and everything. It's probably the leanest I've ever been from memory. Um, but that was, if I can think back, probably if I was in the, uh, not far off that. That was around that time. Not far off it anyway. Maybe like two months later. So this is this is two months earlier, I'd say. Maybe when I first moved in. And then it's not far off, guys. Honestly, it's maybe two months maximum. And you can't see cheekbone lines. The jaw's not that great, whatever. Like you can see signs, like nose bones starting to bridge out. But it's just not quite there yet. So yeah, being lean, I, I don't think it's the answer. That's the best shape I've ever been in. But my face definitely wasn't particularly lean. Like you can see... That was just a good mix of being big and, and lean. That's, that was a scary frame. I remember when I was boxing, there was so much power. But that guy there was that guy there. They're literally days apart. That's not, you know, it's okay. It's not what we've got today, though. Uh, what can I bring up? I wonder if I can overlap something. Probably not. Uh, yeah, but it's not what we've got today. So, however... At different points throughout my life, like I said before, like throughout this whole process, I have had moments where I've gone, oh shit, my face looks really lean. Now, this one could be lighting, but this was when I was sat outside talking to you guys, around about the time where I was really lean, so you could see signs of it. And I was always like, why am I sometimes lean? Why is my face sometimes looking good and sometimes not? And it was, it was the fluctuation that used to annoy me. So I had this here, this one day where I caught this. I was like, oh, that does look pretty lean. It's not as enhanced as it is now, but I was like, that looks pretty good. This obviously with Jackie Boy, I thought my face looked really lean. This was after football, I think it looked super lean there, which was cardio. Um, and this was not too recent, it was a few months back. I think it was about three months ago when I thought, okay, like I'm starting to see some leanness in the face and whatnot. But getting the exact results was really difficult. And... I could never put my finger on it. You know, and there was there's three stories I want to bring you to now, which is the main crux of the video. And this is where you're going to take something away from this. Is that, number one, the first time I really noticed, I was on a date with this girl that I was seeing. And she said to me, we were sat at a restaurant and she was like looking at it. She was like, your face looks really angular. She was like, what, you look really cheekbone. That's the term she kept using was cheekbony. And I was like, oh, really? That's good. I've always tried to achieve that. I was like, that's cool. She was like, no, but like really cheek bony. And I was like, oh, okay. But she kept going on about it. So it like stuck in my mind. And I was like semi thinking about what we did that day. And it didn't really hit me until the other two occasions, which we'll get to in a minute. But I'll talk about this one separately. And I realized I was like, I haven't eaten a lot. I've drank a ton of water. It was at the start of my when I decided to have a boxing fight. So I'd like really honed in on my diet. I wasn't eating anything bad. I was drinking only water because that's all she had at the house. Um, and we walked a lot. We were walking like, we probably walked like 10 miles that day. So I was in a, I was in a deficit. I was drinking a lot of water. Um, and I wasn't having my standard stuff. So like, this is when it first hit me. I thought to myself, okay, every single day I was going down to Starbucks, maybe twice a day, and I was just grabbing like a matcha latte with vanilla syrup or something like that. Or I would take away the vanilla, but I was just having a matcha latte. Oh yeah, I'll suck that down and I'll just get on with my day. It was cold. I didn't really think anything of it. And, you know, you have certain habits that you don't think are bad in your life, but they are. Hence, Jeremy Meeks going to prison and looking way better when he comes out. There were certain little things I was doing and on the days where I wasn't doing them or for like a few days because I was with her for like three, four days, my face looked completely different. And that is why I showed you these pictures up here, you know, after football. 
because that's after some crazy cardio running around for like 90 minutes and it's the first time I've actually seen my face in years look half decent and you know training with Jack which was is it even on here is it the other picture I don't I don't know if the other one's there oh it's in this one isn't it so there that was training with Jack and that again when he took the picture I was like oh that's the leanest I've been for a long time um yeah, it's just I, I just find that interesting that each time it's when I've done a ton of cardio, I've drank nothing but water all day because nothing else was on offer. And I've walked a lot and I haven't been able to consume the same number of calories that I was normally consuming. I started to realize a trend. I was like where I work from home and I would grab one of those matcha lattes or whatever from Starbucks or I would go out for food and I would just eat whatever they cooked for me which could have had a high salt content or anything you know you don't know how they're cooking it what they're cooking it with um you know you're gonna have a bit of bread with it or whatnot oh it's delicious whatnot but it's kind of like a fatty habit do you know what I mean it's kind of like puffy and water-based so like you're doing some really sloppy things oh I just add some salt to my food it's like these tiny little things that I wasn't really picking up on at the time I'll just pop to Starbucks, grab a drink, come back in the warm, work all day, sat down, just sipping on that thing. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to go out for a quick walk and grab another one. That probably wasn't helping. They're probably full of carbs. They're probably full of sugars. The way that they make them. Oh, no wonder they're delicious. Do you know what I mean? And it was around the time where I bought my own matcha powder and I started making my own. And it started to like create a change in my face. Didn't really pick up on it at the time, but you know, that was the that was the first time that I'd really realized. The second time was when I went to Marbella. So I went to Marbella with Alex. This is us training. This is pretty much the only quick video quick this was a video of me climbing along the monkey bars. Um and at the end I've got a little screen like a little freeze frame where I think the jewel, the boat like it just looks lean, right? Let's not talk about it too much. There's like grooves here. I remember coming back from that trip and being really lean. And this is the stuff I don't want to talk about on channel because it just makes you look like a dick, but I'm going to have to, um, to explain a point. But on the course, I can do this freely. It is difficult. But there was a stewardess, really attractive stewardess on the way back. And Alex will back me on this. And she was really interested. She kept looking, talking, whatnot. She was really attractive. And I was like, huh, that's different. I was like, that's like a, a turn up. Do you know what I mean? That's like a higher level than what I'd be used to. Like, I didn't think I could attract women like that. Oh, okay. Like, that's an option, which was a nice feeling. I'm not trying to brag. I'm just saying what I saw. And then when I got back to the UK, I went to see my boxing coach. And as soon as I walked in, he said to me, he was like, what have you been doing? And I was like, oh, maybe it's the town or whatnot. He was like, no, you look super lean. And he was like, all the puffiness is gone. He was like, out of here. He was like, you look more angular. He was like, you're getting in good shape. Maybe we should have a fight, <laughs> right? This is how it all started. He was like, you look really lean. Would you want to have a fight this summer? Uh, it was like September. Um, and to, to put into perspective what I was doing on this trip, again, me and Alex were working. We were walking. We had the backpacks on. We were walking places. Um, we went and got some really clean food for the trip. And I didn't have any of my what I would call home comforts. You know, when you're, you know, when you're living like luxuriously, you know, when you're a kid, you're living at home with mum and dad and you're like, oh, I fancy a chocolate bar. Is there any in the fridge? Yeah. And you grab it. Like when you become an adult, you're like, I'm not going to buy that shit. I'm just not going to put it in the cupboards. It was almost like I'd refined that. And when me and Alex were out there, we were like, let's just get some really good food. Let's just get chicken. Let's get some really good stuff. Because we were so busy, we were eating, but we were definitely in like a thousand calorie deficit. We were walking around a lot. We were filming all day. We were hanging out with Rob. So we're always at the gym. You know, you pick up on his good habits and whatever. I When I came back, I was like, you know, and it's for me, look, I've been in a deficit before. It's not so much the deficit. It's not so much the, the good diet. It's the completely good diet. This is what I'm trying to get to, okay? Uh, and I'll show you some videos in a minute and it will make a lot of sense. But it was the completely good diet. It's the not... It's, it's just no sugars at all. It's it's not being able to have a coffee. It was like me and Alex literally just drank water. And I think like we had like a, a thimble amount of like pineapple juice somewhere. But we would literally just walk in, drinking water, getting out and about, being more active. I started to see a trend. Because when, when my boxing coach said that, I went home and I was like, okay, something's 
as I've noticed that something's happening here. I need to register this and start documenting it for the boys mainly. I was like to help my own life because I want. I don't. Want the, I'm fed up with this yo-yo. You look good now. You don't. You look good now. You don't. I was like, how do I make this consistent? And then once I figured it out, I can tell all the boys and I can help them and change their lives. So this is this is where like my mind's really at. But people think you just make videos to talk about yourself. It's like no, I just have a fucking genuine passion for helping people. I care about this stuff. I think it improves your life. Um. But yeah, I just, I just caught my tricep in the mirror. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, I thought it'd be funny off that last point. Uh, yeah, I realized, I was like, okay, this is there's something happening here. If my boxing coach has picked up on it, the stewardess, I've realized it. I've seen it in pictures when I was stood with Rob and how to be stars. Like, I can see it, I can see a difference. Something's happening. So that's when I realized, okay, I've not had the Starbucks as usual. Like I'd grab one every day, go down there, start my day right, start the morning. Do you know what I mean? I was like, I'm not eating these foods when I was away. I've not touched this. I've not touched that. I was like, I'm more active. I'm walking more. I was like, I need to start walking more. All I'm drinking is water. Okay, well, I need to do that when I get home. I need to continue that habit. So I just adopted these habits. And what I found is instead of that yo-yoing thing, it became very consistent. Now, the third time I noticed it was here okay and it might not look that lean to you guys but it's the first time i really looked on on this camera with terrible lighting sat in this situation it's the first time i looked and went oh i'm happy with that and that same week we filmed the bare knuckle thing and i did a video on my phone and i remember seeing cheekbones and angularity and i was like okay something's happened well i had to get down to 83 kilograms here and i was boxing relentlessly like i was sparring every single week i was training with my coach twice a week I, I was dripping sweat. It was summer. I'd take off my top and I could wring it out. So I had those habits, plus I was training like a madman. And I think it really revealed some of the best kind of changes that I've had. Now, there was one more thing that I did, um, which I've got in my course, which is a chewing technique. So, you know, I was using the Mastitha gum before. I found a new thing that allows you to chew whilst not making these bigger. It's honestly I, I think it's revolutionary it's um it's like a triple threat attack it allowed me to do this this and not this which is that changed the game too uh but this i want to bring these two up side by side and i'm not technically i'm pouting there for you guys you think i'm pouting but i've got a microphone so i was saying something that was very much like oh uh, you know what i mean um i was probably saying okay guys welcome back I wouldn't be shocked, actually. So you can see here, this is when I got on the flight when I was leaving. That's when I was there after a couple of days. It's a completely different face. That's how quick you can transform it. Because if you've been doing the orthotropics and you've been working your muscles right and whatnot, you've got a good face underneath there. You just can't reveal it until you're doing the good habits. This was probably two or three Starbucks, you know, in a couple of days. You know, eating some home comforts, like a little boy, just eating some like puffy stuff. Oh, do you know what? I actually do feel like some carbs. Out here, you're just like, I, I can't really do that. I don't have all the nice stuff that I have at home. So you have to live properly. And what you get is you get cheekbones, you get it all coming out. You just look significantly better. So I left looking like that, came home looking like that. And I just maintained it. That's nuts, right, guys? We were only out there for like four or five days. And the, the, between these two pictures, it's probably like four days. But just doing the right habits, living the right way, it can just change everything completely. It's, it's so drastic. It's crazy. Um, and we move over here. So this is, the, this, is, I, this is why I shaved off my beard because I really started to notice it. This is a video. And like I said, most of my videos that I do on this camera, uh, and this is the best I've seen before this. Like I said, that that is that was the best. I was delighted with that. Whereas here, look, cheekbone, hollow cheek, jaw, cheekbone, like it had all come together, right? That's why I shaved all this off because I was like, I can see something here. Uh, and I never look good under this lighting on this camera. You guys know I always look puffy. So I managed to figure it out. And if you look at the difference, where'd it go? Let's bring that up. Uh... When was the first time I was on camera here, guys? Like in this house. This is what I'm thinking. Have I got anything like that where I'm just kind of... That'll do. That looks pretty good. Like that's a major difference in faces. 
That's way leaner. That just looks like some puffy guy with a beard. You know, but that it's take it's taken years off my life, truth be told. That looks entirely different. That's like a completely different face. Full stop. There's very much just a mush face. There's signs. And then it, you know, you start bringing angles out and whatnot. And I swear to God, I'm training the same way. I'm just living a little bit different. And I'll, I'll throw in some videos now. I just recorded them literally 20 minutes ago uh, at the fridge. And I'll just show you some of the stuff that I'm eating. And you can see like how clean it is. My cheat meal isn't even a cheat meal. And I'm getting to the point now where I might even just get rid of that as well. It's just, it slightly keeps me sane. But I'm not really worried. Like I've basically cut out cheat meals I don't drink alcohol at all. And that was the other thing. Do you know what? Let's go back a bit. I'll show you those videos now so you can see what I eat. And then we'll come back. So this is pretty much the only bad thing that I have. The milk isn't bad at all. It's just the nicest tasting one. And I only have... That, that'll last me the whole week. That'll be for people that come over as well. That's quite sugary, but, you know, it's a one-off for the week. Um, very simple. You just got the peanut butter, uh, some lemon... Dark chocolate, I usually get 90%, but they only had, what does that say, 80? It was 85, okay, so 80. It's still pretty good for you, but I don't have too much of that. Uh, start down here, we've got some peppers, we've got uh, spinach, I think, and carrots just in there. Then we just get started on the meat. we just got a ton of steaks and, and stuff like that. Um, chicken, chicken, some raspberries and blueberries. We've got some salmon here. This is delicious. I love that. Um, eggs. We've got some lamb. Um, we've got some venison. So it's pretty much just that sort of stuff, guys. In here, it's a little barren, actually. But I've got sweet potatoes. I've got cashew nuts, macadamia nuts. Um, some whole wheat pasta. Some bolognese sauce. A lot of beans. They go back pretty much to the back. Uh, some almond nuts. And this is like my one treat, which is hilarious, right? A lot of people having a massive cheat meal. I'll probably combine that just with some dip. Just like, honestly, just nothing crazy. There's like a yogurt, which is pretty decent. Uh, it's just nothing bad, guys. Like the worst food is like some crackers, which, you know, once a week, I just have like 10 of them. So here, the first time I noticed it, this was around about August, maybe August. And this is when I, like, I hadn't drank alcohol since... Because what I would do is on a Friday or Saturday night, I'd be like, do I fancy a whiskey? Yeah. Do I fancy a red wine? Yeah, that'll be nice. I have a little bit. I'll order a cheat meal. I'll have a pizza and a red wine. That'll. I've worked hard all week. Let me do that. I don't do any of that now. I don't, I, I don't have any cheat meals. I don't order any fast food. Um, I don't have any alcohol. I haven't drank. In, I haven't drank. In, drunken. What would it be? I haven't drank alcohol since mid-June. When I realized, okay, I wouldn't mind having a fight here. I haven't touched it since like mid-June. That's a long, long time. And I just think that little extra tweak of habits has resulted in the larger changes. I really do. Because at each time, like I said, Marbella trip. Uh, I haven't got a picture here, obviously. But when I was with that woman, you know, that was the woman. When I was with her, when I was dating her, and she saw over like a three, four month period, oh, your face is changing because my habits were changing, because when I was down with her, which was a lot more, we were doing different stuff. So, okay, I noticed that. The Marbella stuff I noticed, boxing camp, basically for like two months, noticed the changes there from no alcohol, cleaning up the diet. I, basically, on a Friday night, I'd work all week or something, I'd put these videos out, make a decent amount of money, and I'd go down, I'd be really tired. I'd go and get like a tiramisu and a cheesecake. And like, you've been told all your life, have a cheat meal, it results in better gains later on. You have a refeed and then whatnot. I've just I've just found it just doesn't benefit you. I don't care what the science says. I don't care what bodybuilders say. I don't I does anybody want to be a Mr. Olympia? Do you like do you want to be the most jacked guy? You know those like purple guys that are on every steroid that are like that? Wouldn't you rather just be like lean athletic, like you know, really good build, muscular, but lean and, you know, your face looks good and whatnot. Because that's what I found is like when I got rid of the shit, when I got rid of the tiramisu, the cheesecake, oh, I'll have a glass of wine or whatever. I'll order a pizza with a girl. Like you get major changes. Do you know what I mean? It just, it is very much just dietary based, this video, like those tiny little tweaks. And the point I'm making is my diet wasn't bad. 
I was eating well anyway. I was staying in shape. I was going to the gym. I was doing all the good stuff anyway. It's just the tiny habits. Oh, I just have a glass of wine. And I don't think there's anything wrong with it. But I think if you want to really progress, I think those things need to go. I, I really do. Because I it's the best changes I've made. And like when I shaved it all off, because I was like, I can see something. I'll, I'll do it in a different order. I had to take this picture when I was brushing my teeth one night, which you could see the sprinkles on the on the wall. Can I make this bigger? Kind of, kind of not. I don't, I don't know. But you guys can see anyway, right? Let's zoom in. That's done it. So I was like, I have to take this picture because I've got this massive beard. But now, and this is why the thing is, oh, you just shaved off the beard. It made a difference. You can see cheekbones there, hollow cheeks, high cheekbones. And that's when I was like, okay, I need to shave this off because I need to know. I was like, I can see something underneath. I want to see the progress. That was from these good habits. That's a completely different face. It's ridiculous. Um, so when I saw that, I shaved it off. Was at the gym at like 4 a.m. as you can see the next day. Hollow cheek and cheekbone line. Straight down there. Just having a normal conversation. Look how tired I look. Jesus. Um... Same again from a different angle. This is the, the reason I've used this one as well because I'm not really like in a weird face here, but you can still see that's a very relaxed pose. There it is again, that whole line. You got a little line there, you can see it. That side is actually better than that side, but you can see it there, like all the way in, hollow cheek there. I've just I've worked on the jaw a lot more in the last few days without messing up these, which when you're chewing gum, it messes them up. I've, like I said, the video is in the course. It's literally changed everything for me, which I'll show in the next few videos. Um, so I've got some videos here that I recorded, so you guys can see it's not just posing for a photo, but you can see there, look, just in the freeze frame, strong line, strong line, the jaw line that comes out there, the hollow cheek, the cheekbones on both sides, I'll just roll through it, you can see certain angles there, look, I don't want to be, I don't want to be analysing my face, you know what I mean guys, but... I feel like this is helping so many guys because you can see what I look like before and then the after and it's like, oh wow, this actually does work. This isn't just some bullshit. There, let you can see an exact line. I was just trying to hit as many angles as possible. That's quite good. There, flicking between the two. You can see there clearly like cheekbone line, cheekbone line, jaw line out there. You get what I mean, right? And that's just literally days ago, me just sat, just chilling. This one was interesting. So I was, again, before you go to bed, just brushing your teeth. It's under really good downlighting. You can see there, like it's obviously a video. Like you see the cheekbone line there. That's pretty, that's, look, I'm not on this, I'm not on, I'm, I don't look like this guy. I'm not claiming that for a second, right? But, oh, did it just go? Oh, can I not have both at once? That's weird, isn't it, guys? Is that because it's a video? Okay, but you you see what I mean, though, right? Like, it's on the way towards. It's not there, but it's on the way towards. It's closer than, you know, the, one of these first ever pictures. Um, but, yeah. Like this just You can see it's just in a video. Like, if I, like, tense my jaw and stuff, like, obviously it pops out a bit more. Like, that's a pretty crazy angle. You can see on both sides, hollow cheeks and whatnot. Like, I just obviously didn't have that before. Uh, this is a pretty good freeze frame that I managed to grab. Oh, now you bring them up. That makes sense, I guess, though. It was a video. But you can see, like, obviously this guy is ten times better looking than I'll ever be. But the cheekbone line is there under the right lighting. Like, his is massively exaggerated and round. But I always said to you guys that I wanted to kind of get something like this. I feel like any guy can achieve that with the right habits. I don't think that's a million miles away. I don't think it looks like that, but I don't think it's a million miles away. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, compared to where I started from, that's pretty nuts. I don't know if I can bring up a started from photo. I don't know if I've got one individually. Okay. Does, why does it keep doing this? But that's what difference that is. I think I've actually got that image, haven't I? That is irritating. Um, it was the first one. So you can see, like, that's a drastic change, right? It's pretty crazy, especially that other puffy one. Uh, and this, just to prove my point, was about 10 minutes before making this video because I just wanted to prove 
that this isn't some like you know it's the same outfit it's the same face like you can see the hollow cheeks there i haven't actually been chewing today on the thing that is in the cause but you know it does really pop it out but you can see there hollow cheeks high cheekbones the jawline like i just definitely didn't have them before right guys there we go just trying to pop some angles looking like a absolute toss pot um but you get what i mean like it's it is wildly different so there's there's obviously changes and my point is so do men get like kind of leaner in their 30s no i think it's habits i think it's habits i think men can definitely get puffier 90 percent of guys i see look worse in their 30s i think they look really i think they look really puffy and whatnot i think more guys look better in their 40s than their 30s because they've realized oh i need to change this is terrible you know, what have I done to myself? I've let myself go. But the guys who are switched on, who actually make a conscious decision to look better, I think they're the ones who get that male advantage. Where it's like, oh, it's all coming together. I didn't think you could look like that. But it's it's from those conscious decisions of, okay, you're a grown man now. You're in your 30s. You you can't keep drinking. You can't, you can't have catch up with everything. It's just, it's the tiny little things. It's like, I go to the gym. I work hard. I'll have a glass of red wine. It's like, yeah, maybe stop that. You know, you're at an age now where maybe, you know, you limit that to like special occasions, you know, or um, you're trying to eat, you're trying to eat some salad, something like that, like a mixed, a mixed bowl, salad, carrots, etc. And you're like, oh, I just put some salt on it uh, and I'll put some sauce on it. So because I just eat it as it is. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, I'll put some ketchup on it and some salt. Oh, yeah, I eat vegetables. It's like, yeah, but you have to add 40 grams of sugar to make it taste all right and a bunch of salt. This is what people do. Oh, I just have a fizzy drink with this. That won't be a problem. It'll get flushed straight through the body. All of this stuff adds up, I promise you. I'm, I, like, I promise you. Like, I, I think I was eating 60% dark chocolate and I've upped that to like 90. It's not in the fridge at the moment, as I explained, because they didn't have it in stock, but I've upped that to like 90 it's just like little changes like that just make such a difference guys and going for a walk like after this video it's about half nine i could easily it's freezing i could easily sit down and watch a movie i'm gonna go for a walk now because and this is another point this is why i had such changes in marbella or over the summer is because and i took these changes with me and me and rob were speaking about this when i was there when you're in a place like Marbella, like I said to Rob, I was like, when I get home, I'm going to do what you said. I'm going to go for like a swim. I'm going to go for three walks a day. I'm going to stay on top of it. You get home to the UK and it's raining all day. And you're like, when am I going to get this walk in? But here's the thing, you just have to do it. And I think that's the hard part. I think in a lot of cold countries, it's easy to just stay in. COVID showed us this. It's easy to just be like, feet up at night, a nice sugary drink, you know, could, I didn't want to burp it so much. It doesn't even have to be something sugary. You know, you could just sit there with, you could just, you could just sit there just, I don't know, just could be like an apple juice, but you're having one every night. It's a lot of sugar. Do you know what I mean? You don't know what they put in that. Oh, it's like a Tesco brands one. Well, what else is in that? You just don't really know. And then if it's a case of like, I'm just going to sit with my feet up and then oh, I'm a little bit peckish I'm going to have my cheat meal. I'm going to have my pizza. And you're just sat watching TV. I definitely think this stuff adds up. You know, and you're, you haven't drank four litres of water that day. You're just going to put something else in the system the next morning. You're going to go for like a really sugary coffee at Starbucks. And they, they seem like little things because then after that you go to the gym. But they, I'm telling you, they definitely add up. It's something to do with the fat cells. I swear to God. I, I, like they, I know they shrink and they grow. This is bro science right now. But I know they shrink and grow and they say you can never get rid of them. I think when you've got perfect habits, I think they die. I really do. I think when you've got perfect habits over like a six month period to a year period, I think fat cells actually do die. Now that's complete bro science. I've got nothing to back that up. But something happens when you just keep that life on the you know, if you have a section of your life where you're just training nonstop and you've really dedicated, those changes remain. And this is what I think everyone needs to do. Just go complete, almost like dietary monk mode. Just dial everything in. Like you're already doing well. You're going to the gym. You're doing something. Now just dial it in completely, plus the orthotropics, plus all the other stuff. 
And like I said, if you do, this would be easier. Is that a picture? Yeah. Like this is undeniable that it's just a completely different man. It's a completely different face, right? Like that's just puff face McGee. And that's just cheekbones, hollow cheeks, solid jawline. Like that there's, there's, there's that beard's about roughly the same length, right? It's not too far off. That is, and it should be more angular with the beards because you can manipulate it. That is round. I don't care what anybody says. That is completely just a round moon head. Like that is a complete, that's basically an oval or a circle. That is like an actual face. Because nothing is mush. Like, look at the nose connecting in that. that. That nose looks like a potato. That nose has got a solid nose bone and separations and whatnot. It just changes the game. And this it's not necessarily low body fat. It's a contributing factor. But it's all of those things that I spoke about combined. And this is what I've noticed for myself. It's even like your eyelids. Your eyelids are a bit heavier and fatter. They're hanging over. When they get thinner, you get that, like, cat eye thing that guys always go on about. Like, the squinty eye, cat eye thing. Like, even that comes in. You just look less bulbous. Do you know what I mean? It's just the, the puff goes like the head, like here. There's no groove. There's grooves there with large jaw muscles. That's like when you're chewing, that moves as well. I can't remember what that's called now. Um, but that gets shaped your head too. It makes it look. That's a square. That's an oval. It's or that's a circle and that's a rectangle. Like there's no other way of explaining that. And like I'm not making this video to brag. I'm hope I hope people will watch this, especially young guys, and they'll go. Oh, I can make those changes too, because Chris did. Like, I can see it. I can see it year by year. I can go through his videos and watch that happen. It's it's there for you, and I've lined it all out for you. And I'm going to, in this new course, I am going to just obliterate those videos. I'm going to put everything in there that I've done. I'm going to go into detail. It's going to be very interactive. We can even go food shopping. You know, this is the great thing about this course, because it makes money. I can put more effort and money into it. That's what I'd be more willing to do. I can hire Alex for the day and be like, film me food shopping. You know, film me cooking. Film me, like, let's put something together. Do you know what I mean? Let's actually really help these guys. Um, but yeah, like, I'm I'm proud of myself. I don't care what people say. I'm so happy that I knew that that could happen. Um, but that was the three moments in my life where I realized. I was like, and I need to hone them in. I need to do them consistently and focus on those habits because I'm clearly doing something that is making a difference over the weekend and then by about Wednesday, it's gone and I'm back to normal. And I was like, what am I doing? Oh, you're in your home environment, in your home comfort and you're living a certain way that isn't congruent with those sort of changes. And it's so obvious because I saw Jeff Logan do this years ago and get those crazy changes, which is pretty similar to that. And it's just like oh, yeah, like, it's clear as day, you just, like I said, the most obvious one is like, you've got a boring bowl of salad, you really don't want to eat it, chicken and salad, okay, let me put loads of sugary syrups on it to make it taste bad, that's what children do, and that's why I said your face reflects the maturity in your lifestyle, you know, do you drink, oh, your face is a little bit watery and puffery, it's holding some shit under here and in here, oh, that guy drinks fizzy drinks or alcohol, what about that guy? His, his face is lean, cheekboned up, everything. He looks solid. He looks healthy. Oh, he drinks water and he has a skincare routine and he goes to bed early. Like you can, you can see it. You can see on somebody's face the way that they're living. When people say don't judge a book by its cover, you really can. And I think I'm going to end this video because it's like an hour of me talking about it, my fucking face. But uh, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. And uh, there's plenty more of this in the course, but I think you can understand I can't make a video like this all the time and it, like it's, it is pretty draining to do. Um, but yeah, it's all going to be in there. Supplements as well. Um, never had a bad review about the supplements. Go and check them out. We've. I, I hope I got the pricing right. Free shipping worldwide. I think I've helped you all out. I really do. It is the best men's supplement on the market. It just needs new packaging and then it will look elite as possible. But the reviews, like I said, ne never had a negative one. It's unbelievable. So uh, yeah, you can go and grab them guys and I'll speak to you all soon.